Welcome to a video tutorial by ET System Electronic GmbH, your specialists for AC and DC power sources, electronic loads, and DC sources with power regeneration. The on off switch for the device can be found on the front side. The standby button is used to enable or conversely disable the set values at the output. Under it is the display button, which allows you to move between different display modes. Values can be input and set with the jog dial or the select button. When the device is switched on, the ETS system logo is displayed for a few seconds on the display. You can set the contrast of the display with the jog dial in this time. The contrast setting remains even after the device is switched off. On the left side of the display, you can see the current output values of the device for voltage, current, power and resistance. Since the device is in standby mode, the values are zero. On the right side of the screen, you see the default preset values, in this case for voltage and current, as the device is in preset UI mode. It also shows us that it is in standby mode. That is, the output has not been released, and also in local mode, the device is not controlled via an interface. Pressing and holding the display button allows you to enter the setup. Here you have the possibility of limiting the output voltage or the output current. The overvoltage protection can also be set here. In the menu item Remember Last Setting, you can choose whether the set values are to be remembered or not. If you set this item to on, the settings are retained even after the power is turned off. Pressing the display key briefly allows you to see the installed interface, and you also have the option to change the values here. Pressing this button again brings you back to the basic display. Now you are in UI mode, which means you can preset voltage and current. You can now see here the impact of the voltage limit set. The factory settings allow the device to handle 1000 volts, but you now cannot preset more than 500 volts. Press again to go to the default current and use the standby button to release the values to the output. On the left you can now see the set voltage and the actual current that naturally adjusts itself according to our specimen. The actual power and the resistance are also displayed. At the bottom right you can see that the device is now in U limit mode. Now lower the default current to below the actual value, then you will see the mode switch automatically to the I limit mode, so the current can be kept constant. Pressing the standby switches the output off again. Press the select button to go to the mode menu. You can select the various default modes by turning. Now you are in the UIP mode. Pressing and rotating allows you to select the individual values for voltage, current and maximum power. Press the standby button to release the output and the current values are displayed on the left of the display. The same is true for the UIR mode. In addition to voltage and current, you can also set the source resistance to simulate a battery, for example. Standby releases the output and you can again see the current values. Pressing the display button shows a graph with the actual operating point of the device. This graph can also be displayed in all other modes. Pressing again brings you back to the basic display. Standby switches the output off again. The SD card option allows you to load a script created on a PC on the SD card and run it. In select mode, rotate the select controller until SCR appears at the bottom right of the display. Press the select button to read the card directory and select the appropriate script. When the script has been read successfully, reading OK appears on the left of the display. 
Here you can see the script created on the PC. Furthermore, it is possible to create a log file on the SD card. Here, care must be taken to specify the interval in the first line. The output values will be written in the log file later. Now you can switch the display back to the basic setting. Pressing the standby button releases the output and the device executes the statements in the script one after the other. The values can now be found in the log file corresponding to the specified interval. Find out more at Viacom's website.